Hamilton. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. The First Minister will understand the real concerns of Liberal Democrats and others on the introduction of what some have described as medical ID cards. This government have moved effectively to a position where people will now be compelled both to receive medical treatment and then provide their personal data in order to access certain freedoms. This is an illiberal step. Other IT systems, particularly around test and protect, have proved insufficient to the challenge of big data in a COVID context. So so can I ask the First Minister, does she have faith in the IT systems that will back this up, considering that systems are creaking everywhere else? Can she tell Parliament if this measure will be time-bound or if it's here to stay, if we have to live with COVID? And does she understand the very real concerns of those worried about the impact on civil liberties? First Minister. Um, I think anybody who's heard me talk about vaccine certification will know that I do understand the concerns. I share some of the concerns. This is not a move that any government should take lightly. But frankly, I am also deeply concerned and have been for uh, 18 months, as I know everybody has been, about the harm that COVID does. So we need to consider every possible tool at our disposal uh, that helps us protect people from the harm of COVID. And increasingly, after so long, we have to particularly consider any tools that can help us reduce the harm of COVID without the need to impose wider um, and more blanket restrictions on people's way of life. And using vaccine certification in a very limited way, I think, can help us do that. The, the kind of venues and events that I've spoken about, large-scale events and nightclubs, uh, adult entertainment venues, uh, these are important to our uh, economy. They're important uh, for many people to cultural life. I am not uh, underplaying the importance of nightclubs to young people, for example. But they are venues where, uh, despite the best efforts of those who run them, uh, the conditions in them make it more likely the virus will spread. So taking a proportionate step of asking people to make sure they're fully vaccinated, to protect themselves and others, I think would be an appropriate thing to do. Uh, IT systems uh, that are supporting our efforts in COVID are not creaking. Everybody's under pressure uh, from COVID, uh, but of course, uh, all, of the, uh, all of the systems and all of the uh, backup arrangements for anything like this have to be robust. And that is why we have taken such a careful approach to this. It's why we're taking time, for example, uh, to uh, finalise and launch the app that will support uh, some of this, and that will happen uh, later this month. So these things are really important. Uh, I think they've got a part to play, but I also think it's important that Parliament um, gives authorisation. In terms of the time, the longevity of, of all of this, um, I don't think it is either possible or sensible to be definitive about that right now. This is a global pandemic that we are still in, and for as long as any measure can help us reduce the harm it does, then I think it is one we should consider having in place.